Helicopters are advantageous because they can travel practically anywhere. They are used to save people from natural calamities, including fires, floods, and earthquakes. Helicopters can transport injured individuals to hospitals fast. They've been seen to settle on the roofs of hospitals and other structures. Helicopters are used by armies to attack the enemy and transport soldiers and supplies. They are also used by the police to search for offenders. They are also used by farmers to scatter seeds and fertilizers over the crops. In today's video, we will give you the 10 most produced helicopters in the world so far. At number 10, Robinson R-22 The Robinson R-22 is a two-seat single-engine light utility helicopter that can perform a variety of tasks such as flying training, traffic reporting, police missions, agricultural spraying, and pipeline patrol flights. Over 4,700 Robinson R-22 helicopters have been delivered to over 60 countries worldwide. The Robinson R-22 Beta II, ideal for personal travel and proved worldwide as the unequaled training helicopter, gives you the best of both worlds while being cost-effective and trustworthy. The Robinson R-22 is a popular entry-level helicopter due to its low acquisition and operating expenses. At number 9, the Hughes OH-6KS. The teardrop-shaped helicopter is also known as the Flying Egg because it can perform quick and challenging maneuvers. It can fly close to the ground at a very low altitude and at a high speed. Its silence is one of its most notable characteristics. The OH-6 took to the skies for the first time in 1963. The Chaos was first seen in public in 1966 and it broke multiple records, including those for endurance, speed and rate of climb. It entered into service with the US Army in 1966. Chaoses have been exported in large numbers. This chopper has seen action in Vietnam since 1968. They were employed in large numbers of light observation and utility duties as well. At number 8, the Sikorsky UH-60 Black Hawk. The Black Hawk multi-role helicopter is used by the US military and the armed forces of 34 countries across the world as a robust, dependable utility helicopter. This remarkable aircraft has fought its way into and out of countless combat zones to deliver and extract troops, serve as a casualty evacuation platform, provide critical supplies to troops, deliver emergency supplies during natural disasters, and serve as an aerial firefighter and border patroller over the last 40 years. The current form of this utility aircraft is now taking on a new mission set as an armed helicopter to offer fire suppression and armed escort when assisting ground troops. At number 7, the Mil Mi-2 A Soviet-Polish utility helicopter from the early Cold War era. All production planes were built in Poland. Hoplite is the NATO reporting name. The Mi-2 was the first Soviet helicopter to be mass-produced with turbine engines. The Mi-2 utility and transport version can carry up to eight passengers. The majority of Mi-2 models were unarmed. An armed model with a 23mm autocannon and two parts of 1657mm S-5 rockets was created for reconnaissance and special forces support. There were also two guided missile types created. One is equipped with four anti-tank missiles and the other with four Strela 2M infrared-guided air-to-air missiles. At number 6, the Bell 47. On March 8, 1946, the 47 became the first helicopter licensed for civilian use. On December 31, 1946, helicopter air transport received the first civilian delivery. Over 5,600 Bell 47s were built, including those constructed under license by Augusta in Italy, Kawasaki Heavy Industries in Japan, and Westland Aircraft in the United Kingdom. The Bell 47 has 16 variants, and the military version is the Bell 47B. The Bell 47 had a bubble cockpit, with full cowling as well as a monocoque tail boom. The Bell 47J Ranger is an upgraded model with a fully enclosed cabin and tail boom. In May 1949, the helicopter reached an altitude of 18,500 feet. 
At number five, the Robinson R44. Since 1999, it has also been the world's best-selling general aviation helicopter, with 5,941 deliveries from 2001 to 2020. It is one of the most produced general aviation aircraft of the 21st century. It had an enclosed cabin with two rows of side-by-side -side seating. For a pilot and three passengers, a semi-rigid two-bladed main and tail rotors, and skid landing gear, the R44's cost-performance combination has proven popular with private pilots and businesses alike in a variety of operational settings, ranging from aerial filmmaking to police and military service. At number four, the Eurocopter AS350. Also known as the Airbus Helicopters H125, this is a single-engine light-utility helicopter that outperforms all other single-engine helicopters in terms of performance, versatility, low maintenance, and low acquisition costs, while also excelling in hot and humid environments. It has a record of 38 million flying hours globally. The H-125 set a performance record for the highest altitude landing and takeoff on Mount Everest in 2005, which it still retains today. Aside from this notable achievement, the AS350 series is the dominant type in the civil and parapublic turbine helicopter fleet, accounting for 15% of the global fleet. At number 3, the Bell 206 Jet Ranger. The Bell 206 is a two-bladed, single- and twin-engined helicopter family. The Army eventually chose the modified design as the OH-58 Kiowa. The OH-58 Kiowa saw an extensive service in Vietnam as a light observation and scout aircraft. The Model 206 was produced in large numbers for military usage and is still in general use with the U.S. Army in modified configurations. Numerous foreign air forces also use military Bell Model 206 ABs for training purposes. The type was also used as a trainer by the U.S. Navy. Currently, the U.S. Army is looking to find a replacement for the aging Jet Ranger helicopters. At number 2, the Bell UH-1 Iroquois The Bell UH-1 Iroquois military helicopter, initially unveiled in 1959, was the first manufacturing member of the prolific Huey family of helicopters, with over 20 modifications. The UH-1 utility helicopter was the most successful utility helicopter ever produced. During the Vietnam War, the UH-1 was the workhorse of the U.S. Army. This cargo helicopter served several functions. Typical missions included troop transport, gasoline, ammo, and supplies, a gunship mission, and a medical evacuation mission. The UH-1 revolutionized combat throughout this conflict, introducing new dimensions to air mobility. At number 1, the Mil Mi-8. In July 1961, the first Mi-8 cargo helicopter took to the skies. It's a workhorse that's still being manufactured till today, with over 17,000 units constructed and is used in over 50 nations. The Mi-8 and its enhanced Mi-17 derivative remain the backbone of Russia's Army Aviation Combat Transport Force. The Mi-8 is utilized as an airborne command post, armed gunship, and reconnaissance platform in addition to its primary mission as a transport helicopter. The Mi-8 is not just the most produced helicopter in the world, but it is also one of the most produced aircraft in general. And with this, we're signing off for today, but if you've enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that notification bell for more upcoming videos from The Buzz. Thank you guys for viewing in, bye-bye.